Well, Jake, it's Greg Selva here with Jake Berry, the, 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 the wrap up of the show or the whatever, the post mortem. I think we should go back to the huddle next time. Yeah, I know, the huddle. Man, we can huddle up yeah. and start this over. It was just quite frankly a very depressing week, man. We got a butt kick. There's no way to say it. There's no two ways to say it but that. Yeah, it, it, you know, very telling. Um, I, I think a lot of fans probably thought that, you know, they were going to, I said, Rudy Rudiger, Rudy Rudiger experience. Yeah, now, Rudy, yeah the, the miracle on 34th yeah, it's not, it's, Look, I, let's be realistic. Hoosiers doesn't happen every year. It won't happen for probably 20 years. You know? Yeah, every now and again. That's in Kwando. Here's the thing. I mean, you know, we should have expected it. I think, I think we always hope against hope that we're going to be able to really do well and pull off an upset. But the bottom line is, man, those teams were superior to ours and they cleaned our clocks and we got nothing to be ashamed of. We took our shot, but it, it didn't happen. Look, when I'm looking at these scores, Jake, and we're down by 40 at the half a couple of these games. I'm like, God dang it, man, really? I just wish that, I wish that the teams had played their best. I'm not saying they would have won, but like some of the people are saying in the commentary world, uh, it could have been better, I, I think. Yeah. yeah, but you know, you have to remember, Lake Travis, nationally ranked. Good Lord. Steel. Lost to Lake Travis by three. 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 Incredibly good yeah. team. So you have to be honestly on crack if you would have thought that our teams were going to go up there. We can hang with them. And it, look, when we talked about it the week before, it, it was a great position for them to be in the spot, you know, to get all the way there. Yeah. But reality eventually sets in. Okay? I mean, you know, you, you would have a hard time ever beating a team like that. Mm -hmm. what, now, the teams we have are both six and four teams in the district. They got hot at the right time and they played great football to get there. But what happens to the team that, that, that is in that space, they generally turn to a pumpkin in the third round. So, I mean, we only had a handful of teams that won that game. Yeah. And I was looking at it, I mean, since you the copy, I was, you know, I was pouting about for a couple of days. I kind of thought that Cats would do better. I really did. Uh, of course, Vets put up 35. Yeah. So most of it was late in garbage time. I mean, they came back and challenged, you know. Uh, I was looking at historically, you see, Every program, even the best of the programs, knows what it feels like. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can say Harlington's had its moments. They almost beat the Broncos. They almost beat Judson one year, but they've gotten blown out before. They yeah. played Westlake and got killed three times. Although one time in '09, I think that they were almost there at the half and they had a block field goal. Remember that game? Yep. In fact, this is what it reminded me of. This is, I'm going to tell you the truth, this is historically the most blowouts, bad blowouts we've suffered in the third round. Yeah. All the way you back. You always have one team that puts right. in the game. But not three, not four. I mean, this, this was, this was D-Day, man. It was bad. Reminded me of 09. Remember we went to the Alamo Dome? Oh, ever, that's where teams from the Valley go to die. That's right. The Alamo Doom, right? So that you had Harlem's and Westlake and that, the Cardinals really actually played all right. Yeah. They made a couple of mistakes and then wham. But uh, PSJ North and New Braunfels, 62-21. Mm -hmm. Edinburgh. Edinburgh North against Brandeis. It was 14-14 midway through the second. All of a sudden, gaga, 51-14. This is what it reminded me of, and statistically it was worse. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, but here's the thing. Okay, fine, I got it. I got the superlative. It's the word. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't change the way I feel about our teams, about our kids, about our programs. I still feel that we have a very competitive place. We just have to realize that we can't have undue expectations. Who in the state is going to be Lake Travis or Steel? Probably, yeah. man. I mean, they're you know, supposed to both win, win the title. That's so. right, man. I mean, Manville is going to come. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't have any problems with it. Of course, I'd, I'd like for us to have done better. But here's the, you know how it is, man. When you're in against a way better team, all them holes you saw in the last couple of weeks, they, you may see them again. Was it? They closed. Mm -hmm. And pow, 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 there's three guys on you. And likewise, the dude takes a pitch on their first play after you punt, if you don't get your punt blocked for a touchdown, and you think you got him in, oh, 78 yards, bomb. Yeah. And then from there, man, it's hard to keep any team on track when you know that, oh, yeah. wow, that was a pitch. Mm -hmm. He went 78 yards for a touchdown. So, you know, there's too many athletes and, and too, many, too much size, and quite frankly, uh, you know, we had very little chance, I suppose, in those two six eight games for sure. Yeah, and, and you know, we had talked to Spencer Gant, who was the offensive coordinator, former, That's a former, former San Benito head coach. You know, mm. you know, he'd been down in the valley. You know, but he was worried about Ed Calchelsa. You know, he was calling, and asking us, you know, you yeah. know stuff. What do I do? We were, no, we were no, asking, no. we were asking him stuff, you know, right, about, yeah. about their team and. Look, they put a shellacking. Yeah, they did, Chelsea. and the defensive job was what surprised me because we 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 showed you their numbers. They were giving up thirty-five points a game coming in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what I was afraid of. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. What I was afraid of was that Couch has been a Jekyll and Hyde team. They weren't their workmanlike team. Uh, they had had some down moments where they didn't play well, and that was one. I think they had that hiccup, and it was pumpkin time, man. They they didn't do much at all. Yeah, <laughs> against a team where. I felt like if they'd have played East 10 times, 
they made a one, three, or four. I mm -hmm. really do. You know, I don't think he's. They played a great game, and that cats did not play a good game. Yeah. So, hey, man. But see, and that cats has been there before. They've been close, like they were uh, in the third round against GP that one year mm -hmm. in '89. A zero-zero tie. No, it was a 13-13 tie. Port Isabel has been there, man. Back in uh, 2000, they tied Van Black zero-zero in the third round. They lost on penetration. 2002 Bandera, 27-24, you guys remember that game. Hell, two years ago or three years ago now, we were at that Lavernia game, yeah. hoping like hell that they would hold on to the ball and they didn't, 21-14. So every team's been there when they were close, but they've also been there when they got killed. I remember one time P.I. lost to Cuero, 63-8. Mm -hmm. So I mean, pick a program and I can tell you who got blown out when and who was close when. For a while there, it was really cool, Jake, because 95, it was South against MacArthur, I think it was. Uh, 98 Rio was close in the third round. Oh, 98 was oh, oh, not 99. 98 was Rowe, 28 to 25. They lost to Madison. B.A. State North, 03. You got, I can give you a team. Yeah, McCallum Memorial, like twice. You know, That's with right. Bradley Stevens and with, and with Matt Kaufman, they both had chances at winning games and, and you know, one field goal away for Bradley Stevens' team and then Mitchell Bunger and that, that team. Yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. Then, and then you had, uh, you know, Matt Kaufman's team. Yeah, they played close, a, yeah. a quarterback that went to dang, uh, Oklahoma. Yeah. So, I mean, come on. I mean, uh, yeah. you know, for our team to play against some of these guys, it, it's, it's a monumentous. Just, just to get there is great, and of course we all want to win that next game, man. There have been some teams that have done it. We don't have to run through the list here, but you know about Edinburgh, West Lakota, Donna, P.I. I mean, there have been a few. Uh, Edcouts had a chance to, of course, duplicate that 97 showing. Sometimes it's the draw. Uh, now, in 97, they played Cal Allen. Cal Allen's still in it, by the way. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of teams that beat our team that are still in it. Yoakum's still in it. Uh, I'm afraid they're going to have trouble, but uh, Ruff Woodhill's still in it. At this point in time, it depends on what kind of fan you are. Because I know a lot of people are like, Fuck it, that's it, yeah. I'm out. And then I know some people who they're still looking at the, the, the matchups. And I do, I do, I have to admit, I'm looking at who plays who. I'm wistful that it's not us, but I still hold to the idea that it potentially could be us in that fourth round someday. The bottom line is you can't expect too much because based on speed and, and size and ability, we just always go in as underdogs, man. You know, put it this way. When it does happen again, and it will, because a lot, a lot of people, all things being equal, and we're still able to wander around, we're gonna go bananas, and we're gonna really praise that team, because they will have earned yeah. it. It's not like a lot of other reasons to have a, a surplus of size, strength, and ability, whatever, training, chips. They expect to do it. We expect to do our best and try, which I think our kids have more character, and more, for the most part, as much dignity as anyone in the state. You know? yeah. and, people, and believe me, we're known as that. When you go upstate and talk to people about the Valley, they're not saying, oh, them poor folks from the South. They're saying, hey, those guys work their butts off, man. Yeah. And they, they, they try like there's no tomorrow, and they have good kids who comport themselves as good citizens. And that's a hell of a lot, uh, as, as important mm -hmm. as winning. Of course, I wouldn't mind still winning yeah. with it, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I will say, look, you know, the teams, and I heard there's, I guess the ugly of some of this was, you know, the comments afterwards. But also, you get look when you get beat by a team, don't go support the other team from up up north. Right. That, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, no, that's, that's, I, that's I believe they call that chicken shit. Oh, oh so, yeah. It's the internet. Salad, yeah. But you know, for you to do that, that's you, you've yeah. got no uh, masculinity. I would hope that I would hope that that's a small number of people, and we all know what we can say about them, and we should, we wish them the best in the rest mm -hmm. of their lives, right? I think, I think most of us though, we, you know, we would like to have done better and we're still a little bit pissed off about it. But you know what? Hey, we took our shot. We got four teams up there. I remember two weeks ago, we were saying, we're not going to go to anybody. Yeah. Okay, we had four good teams that went up there and they just turned into a pumpkin, man. That's the way it is. You know, the clock struck 12 and the season is over. But the only good thing that I always say is that when the playoffs are over for us, what it means is that we can come in here and try to talk about some of the superlatives and the great things that are happening, and that would be nothing but positive and happy. You're just slamming the door. Yeah. Is that some somewhat symbolic? Slamming the door on the playoffs and then we'll get yeah. out there. Right. Yeah, but um, next week we are going to have the award show. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. yeah, so you know we've got uh, head coach of the year, team of the year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, offensive, defensive MVPs. And a newcomer. Newcomer, yeah. I yeah. uh, might even have a left-handed punt snapper. Yeah. Left-handed uh, snapper. Yeah. Uh, and, and unlike uh, you know other places, we're not trying to sell like a. Uh, yeah, we don't. Have, we're not under no political obligations. We don't have to pick whoever because yeah. whatever. Yeah, and, and there's some interesting things. Uh, the, there's a, the, probably be some surprise uh, uh, videos and things of that sort right. for next Ooh, week. Man. So uh, and maybe some guests. So we'll find out. Yeah, we'll have a few guests. 
put it this way, we still, I've heard from some people, I've heard from some people who tell me what they think, who ought to be, what to whom. So now's the chance to send us some emails and put your ballot in there and tell us who you think is the player of the year. Uh, you know, now here's the thing. I've always thought that we do a pretty good job of spreading it out. Mm -hmm. Because everybody plays the game and everybody has a level of success. Now that you could pick about four or five teams in the Valley, you know that they have like 20 good players. It ain't gonna be that way, man. You're gonna find people from Willisey County on the team, I can mm -hmm. guarantee. You're gonna find some Star County guys on the team. And that's not because I'm trying to play PC correctness. Yeah. I'm just saying those guys are good players. Too. Yeah, and you look at stats and you look at all that stuff. And then we, you know, I don't know if anybody watches more film than us. Probably yeah. not. So I, I would hope other than coaches. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course some some play calling. Uh, but uh, but come back next week we'll have that uh, and nothing but fun, man. Yeah. Nothing good stuff. But, nothing but good. And then for now, if you're paying attention to those upstate teams, man, let's try not be bitter and let's not be envious. Let's be happy for the things they achieve and maybe one day that'll be us. Uh, I'm not saying it won't be and I'm hoping that it will. See you next week for the awards. <laughs>